Hey, future nurses. Today, we're diving into a crucial skill that you'll need in your nursing career. We're talking about calculating IV drip factors. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid grasp on this important topic. So let's get started. First things first, what exactly is a drip factor? Well, simply put, it's the number of drops or GTTs in one milliliter of IV solution. This is key for ensuring patients receive the correct amount of the medication or fluids. Now, there are two main types of IV tubing that you'll encounter. The first is macro drip tubing, wider tubing with larger drops, typically 10, 15, or 20 drops per ml. Next is micro drip tubing, narrower tubing with smaller drops, usually 60 drops per ml. So knowing which type you're using is crucial for accurate calculations. Now let's break down the formula. To calculate the IV flow rate in drops per minute, you'll use total volume in mLs times drip factor or drops per ml divided by time in minutes. And all this equals the flow rate or basically drops per minute. So here's a mnemonic to help you remember. Simply think TV makes you deaf over time. TV is for total volume, death is for drip factor, over is divided by, and time is for time prescribed. Now let's work through an example. Let's just say the doctor orders 1200 mLs of saline to infuse over six hours, and you're using a macro drip tubing with a factor of 10 drops per mL. So first we convert six hours into minutes. So six times 60 is 360 minutes. Now simply plug it into our formula. 1200 mLs times 10 drops per mL divided by 360 minutes is 33.33 .33 drops per minute. And don't forget, we have to round down to 33 drops per minute because he can't give half a drop. So that's your target flow rate and the correct answer. Accurate drip rate calculations are crucial for patient safety. Too slow and the patient might not get enough medication but too fast and you risk overhydration or even medication toxicity. So that's why mastering this skill will make you more competent and a more competent nurse. Like any skill, practice makes perfect. Try different scenarios, use online calculators to check your work, and don't be afraid to ask your instructors for more help. Remember, this is a skill that you'll use throughout your nursing career. So it's vitally important. And there you have it, the basics of IV drip factor calculations. Now, if you want more information about IV drip factors and make it super simple, simply click this link right here. So keep practicing and you'll be a pro in no time. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next videos.